Hello Year 3, how are you all? I'm Miss Marwa, your science teacher, and I'm going to complete the forces and how to measure the force. Okay, so let's start. Uh, you remember that the force uh, make the object move and we cannot see the force, uh, right? But we can see its effect. And the force is either push or pull and there is other shapes of uh, forces, okay? Look at this tree. I want I want you to observe what happened here. The apple fall down to the ground, right? Why do you think the apple fall down and not float up? Why? There is something is called invisible force we cannot see act on everything on the earth and pull the objects down. Word, okay so all the object if you drop something now from your hand to the ground do it now it will fly to the sky or it will fall down yes it will fall down to the ground and this is called the force of gravity this is called the force of gravity we cannot see the force of gravity but we can see its effect and its effect is that the, the the object will fall down and we stick we we stand up on the ground we are not flying on the sky right because of what because the force of gravity okay so we have to understand that the force of gravity that pull the object down and this is called the weight of the object its direction it will be down so this is called be the weight of the object and the weight of the object is how much it will pull down to the ground how much it will pull down how heavier this object okay how heavier or lighter this object this is called the force of gravity or the weight of the object how would you weight the objects okay there is something is called the force meter or newton meter okay and newton he was the scientist who discovered the force of gravity and he's he was sitting under this tree you remember the tree and suddenly an apple fall down on his head and he sank he thought what why this apple fall down and not fly, float up on the sky or not fly in the sky okay so how would you weigh the object this is called the force meter its unit in newton okay look look at this this is what this is the force meter and this is the apple i'm going to put it here okay and there is a scale from 0 to 20 okay so how much how heavier this apple will be so it will pull the spring there is a spring here and the spring can stretch okay so we can see it and we can understand the force mode first meter more okay so here look at this scale the force meter here there is a scale from zero two four six eight ten so i'm going to use my hand to pull it so the force meter reading is on two is reading is two n in means newton okay so n mean newton and the harder i'm going to pull the spring there is a spring here you know the spring is straight feet okay so the harder i'm going to pull the string the reading of the force meter will be more the more it will stretch so you can read the size of the force on the scale so you are you are going to see another examples here i have a lot of objects here i'm going to know what is the weight of this object by the force meter the first one is the an apple and there is a scale on this force meter from 0 to 10 okay so i'm going to put the apple so can you see the reading it's point to what two from zero to two to it will be one one okay so it will be one n one newton so how much the apple will pull down it will be one newton 
So the second one is the your student book or any book here. I'm going to put it and hang it, okay, on this hanger, and it will measure how eight newton. So this book is heavier than the apple. Yes, it's heavier than the apple because it will make the spring stretch to be eight newton. I have this one I'm going to put the the plates or, or the cups inside it okay so I'm going to know how much it will pull the string it point to what three Newton okay so three it's mean this is how much it pull the spring how much it will pull the spring down to the ground okay this is the weight I'm going to put in number D two cups and one cupcake and a plate. So it will be heavier, right? So the reading now will be 7 Newton. It will be 7 Newton because this is heavier than number C. Okay, so the empty one will be 3 and the heavier one with the cups and the plates and the cupcakes will be what? 7 Newton. So it will be heavier. So the heavier the object, the weight it will be more. It will pull the object down more to the ground. Another example. This is inside your student book. Okay. And it will be on page 66. Okay. So the object now, the ball, I have foam ball. And you know the foam is so light, right? piece of a stone stone okay and apple and metal a uh, horse and it's very small but it's made of metal okay so look at these scales on the newton meters in the picture or it's called the newton meters okay or the force meter i put here a scale from 0 to 20 so i'm going to read the first form here, it points to what? Zero form, I think it will be eight or seven. Okay. The stone, it will be 20. It means it's very heavy, right? It's pull the object down to the ground. Pull the object down to the ground. This is the force of gravity. It means the weight of the object. How much it pull the object down to the the ground okay the apple it will be 14 or 13 and the metal the small metal uh, the small metal horse it will be 19 so the question will be which weights more the apple or the stone of course the stone it's pull the object down to the ground more so it will be 20 newton so which weights more the apple or the small metal horse? Of course, it will be the small metal horse because it pulls the object down to the ground more. Okay, and which more? Which more? The foam ball or the small metal horse? The metal horse, of course, because it pulls the object down more to the ground. Okay, so and the foam ball only 7 Newton. Okay, so it's a so light. Okay, so its effect of pulling down to the ground is less. So, I want you at the end to differentiate between two things. The weight of the object and the mass. Okay, I'm going to mention the mass, but I'm going to focus on the weight now. The weight is the force pulling the object down to the ground. Again, the weight is the force pulling the object down to the ground and this is called the force of gravity. But the mass, what's the meaning of the mass? You remember before I said the amount of objects, the amount of water, the amount of something, right? It means the mass is the amount of material in the object, amount of the material itself in the object. Okay, so it will be measured in a unit. It's called the gram or kilogram. Okay, so this is the mass of the object. Okay, so the weight is different from the mass. 
the weight, the force pull the object down. How it's pulled the object down to the ground? This is the weight. And the mass is the amount of the material in an object. Okay, and of course the mass will affect effect on the weight. Okay, thank you guys. I hope that you understand the lesson. Thank you.